I am very happy to be here tonight. I'm, of course, happy to be anywhere at any time, but I'm especially thrilled to be here tonight. If you follow the news, you are no doubt aware that just 24 hours ago, I was sitting in a prison cell in North Korea. But I overpowered the guard, I stole his uniform, uh, took, stole a helicopter, flew it across the DMZ, almost got shot down by our own people, that's a whole other story. But I could be here tonight to read to you, but enough about me, part two. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, hi. Glad you called, been thinking about you. What's going on? No, actually, this is an excellent moment, just taking it easy, kicking back. Next week, oh, you know, I'd love to, but I'm in DC most of next week. The President wants me Monday morning at the 0700 National Security Council briefing. No, I don't think it's because of my Pashto and Urdu. I'm sure he has people even more fluent. It's got to be something else. Well, I'm not going to speculate over a non-secured line. What? Actually, he offered, but I told him I'd catch a commercial flight. Then Tuesday, I'm in meetings all day at the FDA. They've agreed to fast-track clinical trials for my leukemia cure, for which I am profoundly grateful. No, I have not reconsidered patenting it. We've talked about this. I didn't develop it to make money. I did it to save lives. I know that, but honestly, what would I do with another billion? I could spend a million dollars a day for the next 30 years and still not make a dent. At what point is enough enough? And then Wednesday, I begin opening arguments in front of the Supreme Court. Well, so far it's been 11 times with 11 wins, all of them unanimous. It'd be pretty incredible to go for an even dozen, wouldn't it? Yes, Mick did call me. Isn't that awful about Keith? Right arm's broken in two places. Poor guy's got six pins in it. Must hurt like hell. He won't be able to play for at least 10 months. Mick wants me to do the North American tour with them, but I don't see how I can. I have those back-to-back -back retrospectives. The Whitney and then the Louvre a week later. Much as I'd love to, I just don't see it happening. So what I'm gonna do is ask Eric. The guy's always telling me how much he owes me and if there's ever a favor he can do. Well, this would be it. And who would people rather see? Me with those guys or EC himself? Hell, that's a show I'd go to every night if I could. I'm gonna ask him. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you about. Robert Caro is going to call you. Please meet with him, give him every consideration you can. He's my official authorized biographer. No, he approached me. He's wrapping up his LBJ project and says that before he retires, he wants to do one more multi-volume series on another towering American figure. Those were his words. I certainly don't think of myself that way. I can trust him to not do a puff piece. I want it, warts and all, including the time I failed seventh grade Latin. <laughs> Oh, Lucia is wonderful. Thank you for asking. I don't know what I did right to deserve her. No, she's in Milan. Yes, I know. She says that every year. It's shallow. It's superficial. She hates it. She's never doing it again. Don't tell her I said this, but I think it's all nonsense. I think she really loves it. She donates every cent to girls' schools in developing countries. I don't know how much longer she can do it. I mean, she's 31 already. But Armani wants to sign her to a 10-year exclusive contract, so I don't see how that would work. You know, she did win the Pritzker Prize for that embassy complex in Dubai, and she's going to be designing and building 1,400 units of low-income housing on Park Avenue in the 70s. Of course there was community opposition, some of it pretty vehement, but she won them all over. She's amazing. So I don't know about the Armani thing, especially since she just agreed to another season as guest soloist with the Philharmonic. But basta, as she would say. Enough about me. What's new in your life?